Okay, ready for math. Remember I told you yesterday or a couple days ago, whoops, that the best place to keep your dice are in your toolkit. Well, you should have two of them now, okay? So only get out one. I'm going to get out the red one because it's easier to see. And you're going to play a quick, quiet little game. I'm going to show you on my tabletop here. First of all, I'm going to play one more. And just to remember that we're playing more, I'm going to put a plus sign because plus is more. So one more. You don't have to write anything else, but we're playing more. So I'm going to roll the dice. Four plus one more is five. Six plus one more is seven. Two plus one more is three. Five plus one more is six. One plus one more is two. See how it works? Sometimes you have to think about it. I was trying to see how fast I could go. What number do you see? Four plus one plus one. Four plus one equals five. Two plus one equals three. Three plus one equals four. I'm not writing anything. I'm just doing the equations. It's called mental math because mental is stuff that happens in your head. Let's change it up if you're really good at that. Okay? Instead of plus one, we're going to be take away or one less. So if I roll the dice and it's two, take away one. Two, one less is just one. Four, take away one equals four, take away one equals three. Four, oh, I could cover up a dot too. Two take away one equals one. Three take away one equals two. Two take away one equals one. Three take away one equals two. Five take away one equals four. Two take away one equals one. Well, you do have two dice. You could play with a friend or with one of your parents. And one of you could roll the dice. You could say, today is the plus. One rolls it. So if it was a, if it was one more, you might roll it and say, four plus one, five. And then the other person can roll and do theirs. You could take turns. And then switch and do one less. One more, one less. It's kind of fun. And then you don't want to lose your dice. We're going to need two at some point, so I'm keeping it in my toolkit. I like to keep all my tools together. Now, you're going to do two pages in your math notebook, and I mean your workbook, and you know what? That's going to bring us to the end of the book. Last two pages. So, on this page, it says count all the objects. So remember how we talked about you had to figure out where to start? Well, see here? They made one darker. That's where I would start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't want to count that one again. So I have eight. So it said to count all the objects and write the number in the box. So here, um, make an S and do not wait. Climb back up to make an eight. I put an eight. And the words, now a mom or dad can help you because these are not all sight words. Eight, one less is, so it's kind of like taking away that one I started on. Eight, take away one. What's one less? It's seven, across the sky and down from heaven. That's how you make a number seven. So you're going to need a person with you to help you read this, and that's okay. Then, page 100... Nine, yes. the last page in our book. 
the directions say count and write how many. So let's see. Five on the top and five on the bottom. What's that number? It's ten, you're right. So I would write the number ten. Then here it says draw one less. So how many am I going to draw? Ten. What is one less? Let's see. Five on the top. That would be the same. Five on the top. And I don't want five on the bottom. I only want one, two, three, four on the bottom. Right? Do you know the number? Here you're going to count the dots. And over here you're going to draw one less. Now, parents, as you're listening to this, any pages that we have not done in this book, Feel free to do with your child, and um, it's always good to go back if you feel like they struggled on a page, because we will be moving forward. Um, we're going to do something different next week because it's such a short week, and then in January, you already have Module 3 in your toolkits. I know some of the things in the toolkits I've missed. It's really hard to plan a whole month in advance, but this one, we will be done with Module 1. We already did Module 2, we reversed it, and now you will be starting Module 3 on January 4th. Congratulations, everybody! We finished another one. All right, enjoy. I will talk to you soon.